Welcome back, my fellow makers and foam fanatics. Just recently, I finished up a costume, Sister of Battle from Warhammer 40K. I premiered her at Anime Los Angeles. The costume looked great, but unfortunately, I didn't have a weapon for her. Of course, I didn't want to leave her empty-handed, so I gave her a pulse rifle, and everybody on social media were saying, Ted, she needs a 40K weapon. So I said, okay, fair enough. So I thought, where can I find one? And I realized... My friend Steven, SKS Props, made a video and tutorial on how to build a bolter pistol. So, of course, I went over to his website, downloaded his free pattern, and made a bolter pistol. So, it's almost done, but I realized it needs to be painted. And we're going to do that right here on the Old Ted channel. And there it is. The bolter has been built and sealed. Uh, there is a slight change I made to it. This mag right down here is the um, curve mag, which, of course, I made. Um, guys can remove it. It's got magnets. And I do the magnets so it's um, it's easy to travel with, too. So it fits inside of a footlocker or in a suitcase. And we're going to glue on these cast pieces. These, of course, are from my uh, Cybertech molds. And we get some uh, Zeppa Gap. Run the glue on the edges here and line up right there. Speed up a little bit of kicker. Other side. Make sure they're lined up. Okay, good. More kicker. Uh, but for the base color, we're going to start with the Rust Oleum 2X. This is the uh, silver. We're going to take this in the spray booth and put on our base coat. So since the barrel's not on here, I went ahead and put a hole in here. <laughs> so I can take a, a wood dowel and I'm going to uh, jam that in here. And this will allow me to hold the gun and I'll be able to use the spray booth and get the base color on. Okay, there it is. The paint is dry. now. On the original one, there's some additional details. There's like some little like rivets and stuff. And I was thinking, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do uh, some real screws. These little guys right here. So I'm gonna put them in the foam, but what I like to do is take the wood burner and like burn a little hole for the screw. So we kind of lamp this where I like to have a screw. So I just take the wood burner and kind of very carefully push a hole right there. Like that. Um, before I screw this guy in, I'm going to take a little dab of super glue in the hole so that when I screw it in, it'll dig the threads and it'll stay in there. Just like that. Nice and flush. See? That looks great. All right, now the screws are in place. Our next step is we're going to go ahead and paint this top section here. I guess it looks like the slide on the gun here. Uh, we're gonna paint this red. This is a uh, packing uh, saran wrap. I love this stuff just great for packing and shipping things, but I love using it because it's in a small handle and you can use it to do masking like this. Just really easy. We're gonna mask off this. Now again, it's not exact, but just to get most of it. So I minimize using this tape as much as possible. All right, now we have the uh, plastic wrap on. We're gonna go ahead and just take the tape to the edge. Okay. All right, everything is properly sealed up. Just, just before you paint, I'm always like to go through. Oh shoot, I just realized something. I wanna mask these guys. I want this to be red, but I want these to stay silver. So I think that's about quarter. So hold on, let me get some tape and do that real quick. What I like to do is take a tape like so and lay it down on my uh, my cutting mat, which has the grid already on it. Cutting strip. Now I'm gonna take this guy and so we get that right in there. Right. Make sure it's sticking and you kind of go like this. 
And then, like that. And then, take an X-Acto Blade. <laughs> now I have these masked off. So now, as I was saying before, we're going to go ahead and paint this red. I'm going to be doing the Rust-Oleum 2X. And Rust-Oleum 2X is one of my favorite paints for foam. It's the bomb. So let's take this to the spray booth and put our color coat on the top. Woohoo! There it is. Uh, now we're going to very gently demask. All right, fantastic. One thing I really wanted to discuss really quickly is that I painted this entire thing silver, and my plan was to go back with some rubber latex and then do. Uh, put rubber latex on the edges and corners before I painted it red, but I realized I forgot and so I didn't do it, which is not the end of the world. It's one of my techniques I like to do, but I'm gonna let you know that it happens to the best of us. I forgot to do it. I was just so excited to paint it, but we're gonna go ahead and just go back with silver paint and do the nicks and scratches. But that's it. Let's go ahead and take this aside and let this dry. We're going to move on to the barrel. Now, this is a barrel to the gun. It's a little paint tricks on this. This is uh, the inside barrel and this is the outside. And it goes on like this. That's the barrel for the uh, the bolter. This is all made out of PVC pipe. Um, I want to do this uh, bluing technique. Um, sometimes when metal gets hot, it does this bluing thing like you see on motorcycle exhaust, that kind of blue, yellow kind of hue. So I went ahead and got me some, um, some lacquers to do that bluing technique. I got some blue and I got some yellow and I got some red. We're going to use, we're going to need an airbrush for this. So, okay, we're going to start with the uh, lacquer blue first. All right, everybody, everybody, we'll just realize this is lacquer based paint, and I'm going to take this stuff in the spray booth because I'm realizing that I'm just, I can smell it and it's stinging up the house. So, I'm going to take this over to the spray booth. And there they are. Um, you can see I did the blue clear and then the a really thin line of red and kind of fade out with the yellow to create this whole bluing technique. I really like this, it looks great. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and take the airbrush and I'm gonna do a little bit of black in here because once we glue this together, I'm not gonna be able to get in there. So I would like to black that out a little bit. So I'm gonna take the airbrush and black this out and then glue them together and then hit them with some uh, crystal clear to seal the paint. Because my plan is once we get this all cleared and sealed, we can go ahead and glue it on and age it along with the rest of the gun. Let's do that real quick. All right, there they are. Now I get the black in there. Figure out. I'm gonna take my X-Acto blade and just scrape off the paint on the edges because I need to super glue. You know, I could do. Hold on. Let's get a Q-tip and some lacquer and just take the uh, take the paint off. Yeah, there you go. A lot easier. All right. Now, also to the bluing, the, just having the uh, clear coat really made the colors pop a little bit more. I mean, it looked good before, but once I got that clear coat on there, it looks really nice. So, yep, there it is. So let's go ahead, take some super glue on the edge here. I mean, I have to kind of put this in front of me so I can make sure it's centered when I put it down. Hold on. All right, there it is, it's all nice and centered. A um, little bit of Centra is on the outsides here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, take a brush and just paint this black. When in doubt, black it out. Now the barrel's glued together, the blue technique's done. We got the clear coat on it. I got my black on the edges. I'm gonna let this dry and we'll move on to the painting the rest of the gun. All right, we're ready now to start aging it. But I realized before we do that, I wanna dirty up my mat. So I got a piece of cardboard. And I'm just gonna do a real simple black wash. So you can take a little bit of black. Ooh, that's dark. <laughs> See, now you understand why I put down the cardboard. 
You know, I'm thinking, let's take a dry, oops, sorry. Let's get a dry brush and see if we can't spread out with this because we have the wet brush and we applied the black. So let's take a bit of a dry brush. Yeah, there you go. What this does will soak up some of the water, but also keep the paint there. Make this a little bit thinner, more even. Now I'm gonna take my hair dryer. I like to nickname Molly. We're gonna take Molly and we're gonna heat this up just to speed this up a little bit. Tell you what, let's go ahead and set this down and let the rest of it dry. Uh, we're gonna paint these guys using my uh, foam dowels to make them look like bullets. And I have some gold, gold leaf Tamiya. This is great. So I'm gonna airbrush. I like these casings. I want these guys to pop. So we're gonna paint these gold. So I'm gonna do this over in the spray booth. Now, what we're gonna do, the acrylic paint is dried. Uh, I'm gonna take some alcohol. Now, this is a technique I like to use because the paint we used here is the Rust-Oleum 2X. It's flexible and durable to foam, but also it's enamel based. So you can wipe off, using alcohol to wipe off the acrylic and it won't damage the red so much. It's like, just takes off just the acrylic. So don't go heavy, just go a little bit light. I scroll on paper towel like this and you go like this on the edges. See, and just kind of get the highlights, right? That's all I want to do is just get the edges. Now, when I'm wiping them, I'm really being cautious to make sure I leave a lot of the black and the cracks and crevices. I have wiped off enough of this, right? Looks great. You guys see the barrel here? That goes right here on the on the gun. Now, this needs to be weathered, so I'm gonna do the same technique. Uh, I'm not going to glue this on yet. I want to be able to weather it and wipe off the excess. Yeah, there we go. Now that is done. Let's go ahead and um, this guy here in the front, I like this. And we want to paint this gold. I want to dry this first before you even attempt to try to do the other side. So, because if you don't, you're just going to put your fingers in it. So it's best to have this dry completely before we flip it over and work on the other side. All right, we hit that with the hair dryer, but tell you what, let that dry a little bit longer. We're gonna set this aside for a second. And we're gonna come back to the uh, the mag that we did earlier. I'm gonna be using the Platifex Black. Yeah, I don't wanna paint this in here, but it's still too wet. So let's just go ahead and set this aside, let that dry. And I'm thinking now that we have the black out, we're gonna paint this handle and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna just can set this down and wash these dirty paws. Okay, now my hands are clean. <laughs> I went ahead, finished up, painted this black, let this dry completely. Now this is dry. Flip this over. I'm gonna put a paper towel down, not to damage whatever I done. See, like that. And let's go ahead and paint this side with gold. All right, there it is. Now we have this side <laughs> gold. The handle's dry. Both these guys are dry. There's some different, I like all this, but I'm gonna break these guys up and have some different colors. So I have some silver to my amp and I have some um, some light gray. I think I'm gonna paint these big buttons, this one here, and, uh, and these guys here, like a light gray, just to make them stand out a little bit. All right, this is nice and dry. I just realized on this, uh, on the mag, this is all black. So we're gonna go ahead and do some like nicks and scratches on it with some Tamiya Chrome Silver. So I'm just gonna like, like some, put it on the corners where you think the wear and tear would be right. Just like, something like this. All right, get all the nice nicks and scratches on it. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the main body here. Just like that. I want to do a clear coat on this because we're going to go on back in and I want to make all this stuff pop with the oil paint. So before I do the oil paint, I want to make sure I seal the whole thing. And I have some um, Sims. This is satin gloss clear. I'm going to take this to the spray booth. All right, there it is. It's all dry. I have some oil paint here on a brush. I'm going to thin it down with some uh, mineral spirits. 
I think the black oil from the cracks and crevices like this. So this is why you want to make sure you have a, a clear coat on this because it allows you to come back and wipe off the excess and you can go in and look some crannies. Let's get a paper towel. There, you go. wipe off the excess. Look at that. See, that really makes the skull pop. Looks great. So let's go ahead and do some of that on the uh, this back detail. I like this little piping here. Let's fill this up. All right, um, all the oils I worked in and aged in the appropriate spots. I'm very happy with it. It looks great. And this is this clean black with silver coming through. So I want to knock this down a little bit. Since it's black, uh, I got some um, burnt sienna. Let's go ahead and set that aside and let that dry. Now for the moment of truth, we're going to go ahead and glue on our barrel. Line this guy up just like so. Do a little push. There you go. Time. That's our main big barrel. And of course, totally forgot. There's a little, I have a little bit of a PVC pipe here I made for this barrel. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just put a little super glue on the back side here, like this. And this has been painted black. So I'm just going to push that guy in here like this. I almost completely forgot about this. <laughs> oh, yeah, that barrel. So. Take a little silver. Let's grab the clip. Ooh, drop it in. Tell you what, let's take a break. Let's go ahead and clear off this table. There it is, all its glory. Let's give it a look over. It's fantastic. All the aging, the paintings all dry. I call this 40K bolter done. bolter pistol everything i use on this build is listed just below the video and if you have not hit that subscribe button please do that and if you guys like this video and you have friends out there you know would like this video tell them all about it please leave comments below hit that thumbs up and if you guys end up building a bolter please tag me on social media so i can see it i love to see other people's builds and the next step is I'll be passing this bolter pistol onto my sister of battle cosplay. I will be premiering her again at Monster Palooza. If you guys are in the local Los Angeles area, I have a link for that below. Please click on that and get your tickets because that's going to be awesome. If you haven't attended, it's wonderful. And also, a big plea to you guys out there, this is the time to build. If you're new to cosplay and you haven't started yet or you're a little bit nervous or intimidated, I say please go to my website. I have some free patterns, a basic helmet. Click on it, download it, make it, because the sooner you start, the sooner you'll get better to making costumes and props. Please don't stop. It's the time. This is the year to do it, people. So please, check it out. Get the supplies, get the glue, get the foam. Click on my links. Shop the my Amazon link. That even helps me too. Keep making videos. So guys, thank you again for watching me in this wonderful build, and I'll catch you back next time right here on the Evil Ted channel. Another great way you can show your support, you can pick up some of my merchandise on my Teespring shop.